Where? The bottle inside. So, um, we can't get a lie, but You tease it, I'm, I just left. <laughs> she said, Come to Thailand. Thailand. Come to Thailand. I'm gonna go get it. That's what they need. Mokha. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Now, I wanted to react to, well, a few clips from Austin Holloman. Um, it's going to be two more clips that I'm going to show y'all, but it's the third one that I want y'all to focus on. Well, the second one, too, because the second one is actually why the third one was made. Uh, he got some detractors trying to come at him. Apparently, uh, you know, a woman taking care of his man is a man wanting another mom. I find that funny because I'm going to call out I'm going to call out some hypocrisy on that later on. But first, I want to give a shout out to Austin Holloman. Um, glad to see you doing well after the whole BS with the whole Brazil thing. And he seems to be in a place of peace right now. All right. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to show you guys this next clip. Look at my tour guide. I have a stomach ache. All right, so I mean, y'all see the text. Um, apparently, this woman has remedies for upset stomachs and whatever the case may be. This right here lets me know that she was definitely brought up a particular way. Um, <laughs> rarely do you see women taking care of their men like this in the States when they're sick. Uh, and you know I can understand this potentially happening luckily this haven't, hasn't happened to me yet hopefully it won't but you know you go to these other countries and you're trying these new foods and everything and you know you want to be adventurous and you want to know you, you want to see what's out there you never know you might come across something new that you like um, like since I've been here like I, I love fried yuca oh my god yuca Yuca con queso? Money. So, <laughs> yeah, the potential of this happening doesn't shock me. But what was shocking to me was to see the responses and the hate that he was getting, apparently, from these female detractors, of course. And you see these Filipinas been clapping back lately? It looks like these Thai women are going to be right behind them. Check out this next clip. Yeah, that, I was reading through the comments on Twitter and I seen people saying, oh, uh, this dude flew way across seas just to get a girl, just to get a second mom. He doesn't want a girlfriend. He, oh, you know. like it's a good thing if a girl like your mom. So it's me. She can take care of you and your kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your mom take care of you. You know what I mean? Right. I want a woman to take it's care like, of me. Fuck like it. my dad told me, if you didn't get a guy just like me, don't date them because I literally take care of you really good. Why do you need some guy who never ever can take care of you? You know what I mean? It's the same shit. If you want, if you need some girl or a girlfriend, this she's supposed to like take care of you like your mom. That's a real good like because she can't take care of you and your kids. In the future. No lies detected. 
but I want to understand what's wrong with that. What's I'm trying to figure out how do we get to a place in the West where a woman taking care of his man is a man that wants a second mom. But all these women want a quote unquote provider who takes care of all the bills and whatnot. And that's not seen as women wanting a second father or in some cases their first father. I'm like, I'm not throwing shade, but let's be honest. I'm like, that could play a factor. Here's my thing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to find similar traits in your mate that your parents possess. Y'all got to understand. Austin is not going to be 23 forever. I'm not going to be 37 forever. Matter of fact, I turn 38 next month. So as we get older, our bodies are going to break down. I'm like, no matter how healthy we eat, no, no matter how much we exercise. Eating healthy and exercise only puts off the inevitable. Let's keep it a buck here. But to know that you chose somebody who is going to be there for you and take care of you in times of need in a situation like that with something as simple as just a stomach ache. You know what I mean? I'm like, for one, it shows that you genuinely care about that person. And two, it shows that they know you can, you can lean on them. And I find that really strange because one of the thing, one of the biggest planks that, that come from women in the States are, are men not being reliable. But then when you see somebody like Austin go to another country and He's being treated a certain way. Y'all don't like it. And then I'm thinking to myself, y'all don't think. Y'all don't think he's taking care of her. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's probably he's covering everything. He's paying for everything. It's like, I don't understand what the problem is. And then this was another thing that really that that that, that really like had me tripped out when he was on that panel uh crew season i did a live reaction to that like you had the women on there coming for him like well like why come why like why come on you're not uh doing this and blase blase i'm like i'm thinking to myself this man is only 23 i'm like is there is there any woman on the panel that was thinking about taking a man seriously at that age, dating a man that age or taking him seriously for marriage right then and there? Like, let's keep it a buck, man. I'm like most women in, in the States that are 23, they in, they too busy enjoying their youth, running up a body count, doing it, doing whatever it is they want to do. Those are going to be the same women 10 years from now. They're going to be sitting on the same panels with the same complaints, pointing the finger at men and not themselves. Like, Austin is 23. Let him do him. And he's made it clear that eventually he wants to get married. And from what I can tell, I don't think he wants to wait till he's in his 30s and 40s like, like most guys probably would. And, and if that's the case, then so be it. Like, ain't nobody going to be mad at him for it. But for all these, but these panel full of 30 and 40 year old women want to sit over here and de-police him and tell him how he should move. I'm thinking to myself, all y'all women, when y'all was the same age as him, like, when none of y'all thinking about getting married? Like, let's keep it a buck. What women do y'all know that are 22, 23 in the States? That are like, oh, I want to get married right now. Like the women that I know that are that age, man, I'm like, they still dealing with dudes that can't even give them the kind of commitment that they want because these guys are the same age as them. These dude, guys in the States, 
the kind of guys that most women find attractive in the States, those guys ain't settling down at that age. Hell, those guys don't even want to settle down when they get in their 30s. Some of those, a lot of those guys that y'all prefer don't want to settle down, period, because they know y'all prefer them. It's a numbers game. I'm like, I think it just comes down to women are starting to see this passport parole movement grow. And eventually, well, really, it already is. You know, the numbers really are in their favor. And with this movement getting stronger, it's only going to get worse because the women already outnumber the men in the States. And now you got more and more men leaving. And y'all know these are good dudes because if they can afford to date abroad, then clearly we can afford to at least handle handle majority, if not all the bills here. And they know that, but they just won't admit it. I'm like, they got too much pride. I'm like, and they can never be wrong about anything. I'm like, the need to be right is strong in these women, bro. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. Shout out to Austin Holloman, bro. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. And you guys, all right, I need about 180 more subs to get to 1,000K subs. All right, to the next video, 